I'm Anil Kumar. We'll continue with differentiability of a function. The question here is why the following functions are not differentiable at x equals to 2. Explain from the graph of the function. We have five examples here to consider. One function is a reciprocal function 1 over x minus 2. Then we have square root function x minus 2. Then we have a radical function, fifth root of x minus 2, absolute value of x minus 2, and the ratio of absolute value of x minus 2 over x minus 2. So all these functions have been transformed. They, from the parent function, move two units to the right. And we'll discuss whether they are differentiable or not. We know they are not differentiable. In fact, we'll give reason for them not to be differentiable using graph of the function, right? So that's the key. What you have learned so far about differentiability is that uh, we'll write f dash a to find if a function is differentiable at a point or not. And we use limits as our definition so far. We say uh, limit h approaches 0 for f of a plus h minus f of a over h. Now, if this limit exists, if this limit exists, in that case, we say that the function is differentiable, right? So that is the definition which you have learned, and uh, we'll keep this in mind. Uh, however, the explanation will be based more on the graph, but we'll kind of connect with our definition also as we move along. So let's try to sketch each of these functions and reason out why they are not differentiable at x equals to 2. Very first function is a reciprocal function. So if you sketch it, what you get is a vertical asymptote at x equals to 2. And the function will be kind of like this. Right? So it will be kind of like this. So I'm making very, uh, you know, approximate uh, diagrams here. We're not getting into details since our idea is to only work near the point x equals to 2. Now in this case, you see the function is discontinuous. We have vertical asymptote, right? Asymptote at x equals to 2, right? So since there is a vertical asymptote, the point is not in the domain of the function, correct? There is a discontinuity. So from a graph, sometimes we say that uh, you lift your pen, right? You lift your pen. To sketch. So if you see that kind of a thing, then it means not differentiable. Right? That is one way of looking into it. And um, so what you notice here is that we do have a vertical asymptote. The point x equals 2 is not in the domain, and therefore it is not differentiable, right? You cannot be at that point. Perfect. So we can also say that the limit of this function does not exist at x equals to 2. Okay, you can use this definition also to explain. So I hope that part is absolutely clear. Now, let me take the next, which is f of x equals to square root of x minus 2. So, let us sketch it here. All right. So, let me sketch it here. Square root function, you know, it has been translated two units to the right. So, it will be kind of like this. Where this point here is 2. Now, why is it not differentiable at 2? So if you see from here and your definition of limit, now in this case, you will see that the limit h approaches 0 for f of, if I say 2 as my point a, right? So I say 2 plus h minus f of 2 equals over h. So if you see here, the limit when h approaches 0 from uh, from the left side is not so 
So when, so if you see from the left side, it is, you cannot approach this function from the left side. That's the whole idea, right? So this limit does not exist if you approach from the left side. For this limit to exist, we have to check from both sides, correct? That is important. Now, since you cannot approach from the left side, so this limit, 0 minus when I write, so if I take a point which is on the left side of 2, that point is not in the domain, right? So, so it is not differentiable as it does not exist. Perfect. So elsewhere, where x is greater than 2, it is differentiable, but not at 2. Perfect. The next equation is f of x equals to fifth root of x minus 2. So let's sketch this. We'll sketch it here. Okay, let's go like this. Let me do it here. So now we're trying to sketch the function, which is fifth root. So when it is fifth root, at x equals to 2, it will be 0, right? But if I write a value, which is 10, for example, then fifth root will be will be 2, correct? So that will be 2. So the function on the right side of this will be kind of like this. On the left side, if I use a value, let's say minus 8, for example, then the fifth root will be minus 2. So it's going to be negative, right? So what you find here is that the function will be kind of like this. Now, at 2, you have a vertical asymptote. So, so for, for part C, what we notice is that we'll have vertical asymptote. At x equals to 2, right? So, Whenever we have vertical asymptote, then the tangent is not defined, correct? So that is the, the problem, right? So the derivative does not exist, and therefore derivative. So it does not exist. In short, I'm writing d and e. So at this point, the tangent is a vertical line. So if I draw a tangent at this point, it's a vertical line. So it is approaching undefined real value. Therefore, it does not exist. Correct? So this is for the fifth root of x minus 2. So I'm writing x minus 2 to the power of 1 over 5. Perfect. Now let's take the absolute function. So let's sketch the absolute function here. So if you sketch the absolute function, what do you get? At x equals to 2, 2 minus 2 is zero so we have zero here so as the value i'm sorry zero at two sorry and so as the value is more than two it is going to be positive but if x is less than two even then absolute value is always positive correct so you get a function which is kind of like this now here what you see here is that we have a corner right so we have a corner now if you notice from the left side, the slope is negative. From the right side, it is positive. So we don't know what is there at 2. Perfect. At 2. Right. So, so what you notice here is that it is a corner at x equals to 2. And the function's derivative does not exist. Correct. The last example here is a step function, which is... Let me sketch here in this space here. Okay. Absolute value of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. So if I divide this by x minus 2, this line will give me 1, right? So we can say this is included here, that would be 1. On the other hand, if I do it on the left side, it would be negative 1, correct? So it would be negative 1. So what do you get here? is a step function whose value is 1 or negative 1 depending on, I'm sorry, okay, uh, not this. Um, we are working at 2. Okay, so it is like this. Sorry for that. Yeah. Uh, this is translated 2 units to the right. So this function has been drawn in this brown color, okay. Yeah. 
yeah so forget this so that is how it is and what we note here is that there is a jump discontinuity so in this case we have jump discontinuity and therefore that function is not differentiable right so therefore it is not differentiable so that is the discontinuity correct so so these are different reasons where the function is not differentiable there could be one more example let us say the value let me write a function here which i didn't include let me write another function f which will be let us say f of x equals to x to the power of 2 over uh, let me write x minus 2 to the power of 2 over 3 okay since we are working at x equals to 2 so we'll translate this also uh, two units to the right and then sketch this function and from there we'll talk about its uh, uh, differentiability right so this function will look kind of like this let me just use the space here so it'll kind of look like this okay so i hope now it is visible right so this is another function which i added now that completes my list of examples which will give you all possible things to see on a graph of a function to figure out whether it is differentiable or not so what you conclude from here is few things to look for right so one is it is not differential for any cusp like we have here right so second it is not differentiable for any corner like shown here or it is not differentiable if we have a vertical asymptote right these were the cases where the function is continuous do you see that in these three examples function is continuous in the entire domain still it is not differentiable at a point correct now let's look into the other parts so so we we have some function at the edge sometimes it is not at the boundary since both side limits are not available to you right so limit may not exist so at this boundary here the domain is x greater than or equal to 2 so at 2 it is not differentiable correct and the last portion is at any discontinuity so we have considered two types of discontinuities there could be another example let me write g as a rational function let's say f of x equals to uh, let's say we write a function x uh, since we are working at x less x minus 2 whole square divided by x minus 2 so if i have that function right so in this case we'll have a function which is uh, having a whole right so discontinuity of a whole so it will not be differentiable so let me sketch this function here on the corner here so this could be uh, sketched kind of like this uh, just let me write with a hole at 2 right so it has a hole at 2 so the function actually is only this part not including 2 so that is example g is it okay so th so that is another way you can make a function not differentiable at a given point perfect so so that is what we have learned here in this video. So you can actually create a function which is not differentiable at a given point. It could be differentiable elsewhere. And that is how you could create. And these examples are uh, the most frequent ones which you can see. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. We'll take up more examples about differentiability and as you've seen in this exercise, we will be using first principle, we'll be using equation and the derivatives to show whether a function is differentiable or not. I hope that helps.
Thanks a lot for watching and all the best.